beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your reading for January 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is your January 2021 general reading. So let's get straight to the energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful energy, Taurus. Uh, 2021 is going to be uh, mainly about your career. Um, I did do a, a check-in energy a couple of days ago for you. And um, we do have that Wheel of Fortune. So you've worked super hard uh, in 2020. And um, we have uh, the Devil card as well there. Um, but just to let you know, you're being rewarded for all your tenacity and endurance during this time. We uh, have had the grand conjunction there that has shifted the energy to make uh, a very successful time for you. And we have the hangman. Okay, so um, with this new shift into the new year, it's about perspective. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, there is a lucky turn of events, perhaps, perhaps even a lucky break there for you. Um, but it comes with a new perspective there. Also, it's about releasing anything that was holding you back in 2021 with that devil card energy. Just going to get the little details. Um, we have the Ten of Fire. Beautiful. Okay, so it's shedding. You're letting go of 2020. Um, it's almost like you said sayonara to that a long time ago. I just got this energy of uh, releasing and stepping into the new year, into January 2021, afresh. Okay, with that Ten of Fire energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Um, for those of you, um, oh, we got the Nine of Fire. Look at that. Two uh, fire cards there, back to back, the Nine and the Ten. So they're indicating here um, to be cautious of anything that was holding you back, to let it go, okay, to release it. Anything that you still feel is a little bit of a residue holding you back, um, Wow, it's only stopping you from getting here, which is the sun. So we have in January, uh, I feel like you really hit the ground running. There's a new perspective um, that uh, sort of enlightens you towards the path of happiness, abundance. Um, so uh, this is your career energy that I'm getting. So this feels very much like a wonderful new start for January. I feel like you're energized as well. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper and find out the energy. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? We have the Hermit, okay? Uh, hermit in the upright. So you may have been working like a, a solely yourself. Uh, you may even be single and just uh, solely working on your finances and your... Um, sort of career path, and you've received a lot of spiritual illuminations. Uh, now we have the Seven of Pentacles. It's in the upright. So this indicates, you know, that patience I was talking about, hard work. Your success is coming on in, and you've been waiting a long time for it. But they want you to have a look at what you feel may have been holding you back, whether it was old ideas, whether it was, uh, you know, uh, low self-worth or confidence. Um, now's the time to shed all that because the only person you were getting in the way of was you and your own happiness. Oh, we have a, a, a jumper. How would you like to receive? Okay, they want it in the reverse, which is the um, Nine of Swords in reverse. So this is uh, basically indicates uh, rest, recovery, and after a very anxious time, you may have been looking at your anxiety or anything, um, you know, that was keeping you in fear in 2020. And I know a lot was keeping us all in fear in 2020, but it's a different time now as we step into 2021. Uh, in terms of your career, it looks like there's a lot of abundance coming on in here. Um, hard work and success is headed your way. And um, we have the Three of Pentacles, so teamwork. You've got, it's almost like you may have felt very alone. We have the Two of Pentacles there. Um, so a lot of Pentacles coming on in here. You may have felt very alone. Um, how would you like to receive? The Tower in Reverse. So you're stronger than you think. You're more resilient than you think, Taurus. That's the energy that I'm picking up on here, okay? Um, but to start, we have that Wheel of Fortune. This is the protagonist energy, the overall energy for January 2021. And not only is luck 
on your side, but good fortune turns things around. Okay, you may have felt like you were completely stuck, um, things were not going the way that you'd hoped, and you were even stuck in a rut there. Um, it was almost like you were put on pause, okay, and now's the time. Um, it was the pause there indicating was rest and recuperation. And now it's an energized time. It's almost like you're being reborn. Uh, you found your mojo, okay? Uh, you're letting go of all of that stress, anxiety. You had a lot of burdens as you uh, sort of headed towards the end of 2020. It's almost like you did a big sort of cleansing, okay? Uh, this Wheel of Fortune indicates destiny meets synchronicity. You're going to see a lot of synchronicities in your uh, January um month in total but they're indicating here that there is um, some sort of lucky break that is coming your way um, now you may be up for something that you've been working on uh, solely yourself putting a lot of hard work dedication in there you may be part of a team but your part in it is very integral um, there is an opportunity uh, that turns out just perfectly the way that you'd hoped for um, so if you felt like it was a risk or a gamble uh, it will really pay off the they're indicating there's a lot of fortitude here, you, you, endurance, patience, and it all comes good, okay? It's almost like the hand of fate is intervening to put you on the path that you were always meant to be before you got put on pause, okay? That's the energy I'm getting here. Um, now, also, the Wheel of Fortune indicates you're very... Um, you're very well aware and very spiritually um, illuminated in such a way that... You recognize that sometimes you're up in the world and sometimes you're down, okay? But now is the time for being up. So um, it feels like, yeah, things are just working out in your favor. Um, and it's because you're letting go of expectation. It's because... Um, you know, you're, you're, you're letting go of this, this ten of fire indicates, look at that, uh, all those contracts, can you see that burning there? Uh, we get a ten of fire, this is um, a release, it's excess endings, you know, clearing the way for the new beginnings. So the new year actually sheds all the old stagnant energy and makes way for the new. Um, everything that you release uh, will actually uh, invite extra uh, new exciting energy into your life. So, um, it's almost like you're, you're very thankful to Spirit for getting you so far. You recognize how resilient you've been in 2020. And now you're ready for the new, okay? Relationships, um, in ter terms of job situations. Um, I feel like you're just shedding everything. You've learned a lot. They're indicating all these books here at the bottom for me. Um, now, they're saying the name Matthew. Uh, so uh, that please take it as it resonates. It may be your name. It may be someone you work for. Uh, maybe even the company name, Matthews, because they're really highlighting contracts. Now, you may be walking away from a job uh, from that you had in 2020, or you may have walked away from that job and you're really ready for the new energy that's coming on in. So it's wonderful that it's, it's crossed by that wheel of fortune because everything you've worked hard for now meets synchronicity and divine timing for a wonderful opportunity to pay off and your destiny becomes very uh, obvious to you right now um, in January, okay? Uh, we do have that Hermit energy. Now I'm gonna pull a quick card on that Hermit energy because it is crossed by the Three of Pentacles, which indicates, you know, um, you may be working on something, um, perhaps a, a project. You, you've gone deep within for a, some sort of spiritual truth. Um, it's almost like you may have been weighing up the path. Which way do you go? Do you go solo? in a job sense or do you actually uh, partner up and we've got it crossed by that pentacles that three of pentacles there so it indicates that you may be shedding an old way of thinking and in terms of you know trying to do everything by yourself and it creates a lot of burdens a lot of stress and Taurus you're a hard worker okay sometimes I know you're represented by that bull kind of energy stubborn energy as well but also very loyal, dependable energy in a lot of power, endurance, and strength. Um, but there is an indication of a little bit of stubbornness where you may have gone solo on a couple of projects and now you recognize, you know, it's time to delegate or it's time to join a team. Your efforts and your collaboration in this team is very important because you have a lot of skills and quality um, that you can offer people. There's a lot of contracts in January 2021 
for you. Now it feels like either you're energizing and calling stuff in towards you as in a new job situation um, and you will be signing new contracts. It leads to a lot of uh, pentacles here. Um, we do have that seven of pentacles which indicates success in your work uh, but it is about letting go. Attachments to the past okay anything that was toxic energy addictions that sort of thing and I'm just gonna pull a card as I said oh no they said no um, okay they want it in this deck thank you so much for it guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Taurus what do they need to know okay so we got the nine of swords in reverse so it's interesting because we've already got the nine of swords in reverse so um, it allows you to free up your mind free out up anxiety by joining some sort of team now this could be a team that you work with it could be a new company that you work with um, but it could also um, it's almost like it stops you from you know look at that I'm going to show you in the upright the anxiety you know that head is kind of completely exploding there so they're indicating um, that if you were going on the way that you were, the amount of anxiety is not healthy. So it, it's like releasing that uh, anxiety and that uh, sort of nightmarish situation in order to join up with a group. You bring a lot of spirituality, a lot of truth, a lot of um, ingenuity and dependability. Um, and it's going to really turn out for the best. It's very exciting actually, um, very positive energy. Um, now we do also have that devil card. So this is the resistance position, the antagonist position. It's often the lesson to learn, Taurus. Now this um, energy could be about obsessive energy. Um, now you work obsessively towards your finances and a lot of people mistake that. They mistake your ambition for not really caring about other people or caring about situations other than money. That's not true. That's not true at all. You're very caring, you're very kind and you're considerate of everybody's feelings in a situation. But there's an energy here of overworking. So I'm getting, you know, burning the candle at both ends. There's a lot of fire here and they're cautioning you with that nine of fire over the devil card. So uh, be mindful. Yes, the intention here is to let go and start new, embracing a new energy. But that nine of fire over the... Um, the, the devil card indicates, you know, um, reevaluate your circumstances. You need to stop. You need to see where you're obsessing in areas or where you're burning the candle at both ends. You know, your success will come from your hard work, determination, but you don't need to overdo it, okay? You may be even trying to overcompensate for the stagnancy of 2020. Don't bring that energy from 2020 into 21 with you. You know, I'm getting an energy where someone, it's like someone saying, well, it's just another day. It's just another day. No, we've had a powerful shift. The, uh, the great, um, sorry, they just give me something. One moment, please. Okay. Um, so they're, they're just saying, um, they're saying two things. One is Melanie, Melanie. So your name is maybe Melanie or uh, someone that you work with. Uh, but they're also giving me, um, I can't really see that. Can you please show me closer? Okay. I don't know if this means anything to someone. It sounds like a place, but Point Norton. Point Norton. Or it could be someone is pointing Norton. I mean, uh, maybe... Like the only thing Norton that I know about this in business, I mean, might be some sort of uh, technical security, you know, sort of thing. Norton, Point Norton. It sounds like it's, it's either a place, a point, uh, you know, or um, please take it as it resonates because they're actually just showing me a sign that says Point Norton, Point Norton. So I feel like it's a place, but it could also be pointing you towards some sort of um, security energy mm. um, in terms of technicals. Maybe that's what you do for a living, technical security or something. Um, that's not going to be for everybody. Uh, but this nine of fire, um, you know, it's almost like you're arriving at a place that you've been guided to um, where you're releasing anything toxic in your situation. Um, but it's like you're overworking yourself and you need to just stop and get all the details of this because I see a lot of contracts in your January period um, and just slightly beyond, um, just read the fine print, okay? Just to let you know that. 
um, before we continue. Now we have that Seven of Pentacles energy. So your hard work will pay off, Taurus. You're, you're going to be very successful. You have a lot of abundance coming your way, but it required a new perspective. So it's almost like... Um, all work and no play makes Taurus a, a dull boy or girl. Um, you're injecting a little bit more fun into your energy. Um, you know, life is too short, that sort of energy here. Um, I also feel like with the Seven of uh, Pentacles there, um, you've worked long and hard with not much reward, okay? Um, it's almost like you're going to be very successful January, uh, sorry, in 2021 in general uh, with your career, um, but there is a slight energy of reevaluation or evaluation in 2020 January for you, um, where you've, it's like, you know where you've invested solidly your energy and what has paid off and what has not paid off. Seven of coins is this is going really well, okay? You may have even felt like you were completely stuck and um, you've had to reevaluate things, but things are still going well. Give yourself a pat on the back. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? But you do have some choices to weigh up in terms of your career, I have to say. Um, so that maybe there's a pathway that you're thinking about getting a new job, injecting some sort of new energy there. Um, you're very strong. Whatever opportunity comes your way, you're. it's almost like you're in warrior energy for um, January 2020. 2021 you're embracing whatever life has to throw at you um, right now okay and we got all those swans when you think of swans this is from me not from spirit when you think of swans they're so graceful they make it look like it's effortless okay but if you actually took a camera underneath the water and saw their little feet they're going to like mile a minute you know they're working really hard so Taurus you've been working really hard to the external eye People think it's really effortless for you. They don't realize how much work you put into everything, every fine detail of your, your um, day to day. And um, there will be a lot of growth because of it. Um, I see they're showing ascension. Can you see? They're indicating that this is you ascending because of it. So success will be yours. You will be taking flight very shortly. A lot of stars are aligning for this moment. So there is divine timing. Now, we do have a ten two of pentacles here. So there is a couple of options to be weighing up in January. Uh, you may be doing a lot of multitasking, getting all uh, things in order, but I feel like there's an opportunity that comes into the mix for you that really makes you think, oh, I could take this opportunity and it will bring more finances or more spiritual enjoyment to my work. Um, it, it's about, you know, you've got a good opportunity, it is, it is but there is another opportunity that uh, you have to weigh up that is higher than the other one. So I'm just going to pull a quick card on that energy also. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Oh, wow. That's um, wonderful. We have, aha, the judgment. It's in the reverse. So they're indicating um, you may be weighing up your pathway. What are you doing right now? Does it still sit well with you? Or are you denying what you truly want to do? There is going to be an opportunity for what you truly want to do, Taurus, coming on in in January. I feel like, uh, well, they give me number 28. So uh, maybe 28th of January, you'll, you'll hear news of this. Now, there may be maybe a little bit of nervousness about change. I feel like you're ready to embrace it, but you know when something new comes along, you're weighing up all the options, and I feel like the call to do this thing has been quite strong in you for a while, and because 2020 was so irregular and um, unstable, you may have felt like, well, now is as good a time as any to, to um, go for it, but circumstances may not have allowed it, so you may have felt a bit stuck in a rut, but now there is this opportunity coming on in. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're being strategic, okay? Queen of Swords energy, um, although you're an earth element and you're very um, grounded and practical about your decisions, uh, the Queen of Swords energy, air energy there, is about being self-sufficient. It's leading with total truth and honesty, but it's also a logical energy. It's about uh, setting healthy boundaries and um, being strong in your self-esteem and knowing that whatever path you're choosing, you have clarity of purpose. You know what you want to do. And your intentions are actually aligning with um, opportunity, as it were, when you get that card. So uh, exciting opportunity. They asked me to go again. Okay, so we got the Knave of Pentacles. So they're indicating, you know, there is a, a wonderful, solid opportunity coming towards you. It's a reliable amount of money. Um, yes, your hard work and patience will pay off. And it is an opportunity that keeps your interest. It's something that's going to come to your door, Taurus. Um, 
they're also giving me this energy where they spirit wants to pat you on the back because it's almost like you know 2020 was kind of um bare bones kind of year for a lot of people and you still manage to salvage something out of that okay so they want you to be mindful of this fresh energy to not bring energy from 2020 into 2021 because you've got strength you've got endurance and there is this beautiful opportunity coming towards you okay a knight of coins your finances are going to really start to flourish here and um yeah, I feel like the finances are actually going to um, start to build even more, okay? You're rising up through the ranks. You may even take on um, a promotion or a raise to the next level in whatever career you do. If you're looking for a job, then this one is coming on in. This opportunity is coming on in, and it's solid, okay? It brings a, a, an amount of money that is very good and healthy for the future. So... Um, also, we have the unified energy, which is the hangman. So you're not doing things just to do things, Taurus. You're not just doing a tick list to pay the bills anymore. This is an energy of, uh, it's almost like a new perspective, a new vision when you get this. This is Pisces energy, wheel of fortune, devil, hangman. You know, you're letting go of things and allowing um, spirit to come on in and bestow you with luck. Um, and also with this, um, how can I put that? It's almost like relax. You know, you don't need to worry. Um, things are much better than you, you thought they were or are going to pan out much better than you thought they would. Um, that's the grounded energy of it. But also there's an energy of you will know when it's time to act, okay? You may have felt stuck, look at that. There was a time period here with that timer, a time period where you felt stuck. It was for growth, it was for relaxation, it was for hashing out all those emotions or any of that toxic energy that you did not want in your life. And as a result, um, there's a breakthrough. So the unified energy for January 2021 is there's a breakthrough here. You see that skull in the center, scorpionic energy. The breakthrough is you're no longer being stuck. You know where um, happiness is now. You know the path. So as you can see, that hand is reaching up for the sun, which is the abundance uh, energy. And it's going to be very, very fruitful January for you. You will start to see the fruits of your success, of your labor, uh, with that sun card energy. I mean, in my spread, if this was mine, the Wheel of Fortune, the sun card, I'll be pretty excited about that because it's very exciting energy, especially with that hangman, because it's like a visionary. You've got new vision here. Um, you know, you're surrendering to spirit here. You're surrendering to the journey. And um, it's almost like any delays um, that you had, leading up to this moment, you recognize that it was for a purpose and it was to bring in the abundance of, you know, the highest abundance for your greatest good. Now, when you get this card, this is a time to remember that your relationships are coming to flourish, um, your um, business opportunities are coming to fruition, and it's about success, harmony. It's also about material happiness as much as emotional enjoyment, okay? You're mastering your craft, you're standing in your power, and it's starting to look like a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel with this card, okay? Um, as you can see, that Nine of Swords in reverse, releasing anxiety, okay? Peace of mind. No one can ever, um, you know, put a price on peace of mind. Most important, okay? Because 2020 has been quite um, difficult there. Uh, it feels like you are just releasing that and you're overcoming any fears and recognizing that, you know, things are way better than you expected. Uh, now we have that tower energy. When it's in reverse, especially with the energy uh, of the new year, it reminds you how, you know, you're still standing. Um, and by that, I mean the tower, when you get it in the upright, it, it indicates the tower completely crumbled, okay, and left you um, with upheaval. Now, when it's in the reverse, it indicates you were resilient, stronger than you ever imagined. You actually um, survived a tower moment. So there's endurance here, okay? Um, don't fight it because you managed to remain in some way secure in certain areas. It may not have been financially. If that was the case, then know that it's all shifting in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune says it's a different turn of events now for a more prosperous time. Um, if it was in terms of relationships, know that you were sent lessons for a reason and that things are going to work out uh, in your favor. Now, I'm just going to go and get a little bit more clarity before we close the reading. 
Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? Anything else they need to know? Six of Swords, necessary transition. You're moving forward in truth, integrity, and uh, you're moving away from anything that was imbalanced or felt like it was selfish energy, whether that's in relationships or whether that's in job situations. You know, it's about not taking everything on yourself, Taurus. The Empress. Okay, so you're standing in your power completely. You are um, beautiful and you know your worth. So very, very important energy here. Um, it just indicates Six of Swords there. You may also be traveling or relocating in some way because the Six of Swords is a travel card. Um, but it indicates, you know, it's been rough seas. Look at that. It's been rough seas, but you've been guided. You've not been alone, Taurus, during these moments. And they're um, sort of guiding you out of uh, the tumultuous energy, chaotic energy, into calmer waters. And it was necessary, unfortunately, this transition, but the Wheel of Fortune um, sort of gives you an opportunity to sail into something more lucrative, more positive, and more importantly, away from anything that is uh, selfish or is one-sided or anything that you struggle with, you know, toxic energy, people being negative, um, you know, anything where you felt like you were burning the candle at both ends or that kept you stuck and not receiving the abundance that you truly deserve, okay? You're realizing your worth, Taurus. Nobody's going to knock that. You're very strong, very resilient, and very beautiful. There's two cards here, the Sun and the Empress. Both cards are about calling abundance towards you. A lot of success and beauty is uh, sort of going to flourish in your world. You'll start to see the light in January 2021. Uh, you may also be pregnant um, or be trying for a baby. It will be very uh, successful, but you're bringing wisdom with you into 2021. And um, I feel very much like by the moon cycle, they're giving me the 28th again, so that's this, this full moon energy, um, that there is going to be this opportunity for um, almost giving birth to um, either a new idea or, uh, you know, perhaps if you are pregnant, giving birth then. Um, there's a, an exciting energy about nourishment and it's almost like a new version of yourself, a healthy new version of yourself is making waves in um, January 20. 21 okay um now it's interesting they've asked me to just give a quick shuffle of these cards which i don't want to be here okay they obviously want those for you uh we have the two of cups in the reverse we have the eight of swords in the reverse and we have the three of wands in the uh upright energy so this indicates uh separation okay now it's interesting because we've got the two of cups here in separation. You may be separating either from a work situation or a partnership if you're in your own business, in a partnership there. there is um, It indicates you're moving away from anything that was not loving, that was not reciprocal, um, that uh, you know, you're becoming disinterested in anything that is not giving you what you give out. And you don't give energy to receive energy, um, but it feels very much like you're reevaluating everything, okay? Now this could be a romantic union because the two cups often is about soulmate energy, but you can have different types of soulmates just to let you know. Uh, this indicates a breakup or a separation um, so I feel like this is energy that you've been thinking about for a while so it's, there's no surprises okay so it's not gonna be like if you're happy with your union your partner your lover your husband it's not like there's gonna be a surprise that you're gonna separate from that okay just so you're aware I don't anyone getting scared there there's an indication that you've been thinking about separating from something for a long time whether that's a toxic job or a situation that kept you stuck uh, kept you uh, feeling like you are um, you know running around in circles you're separating from that because you're standing in your power you're releasing yourself and uh, from anxiety but also escaping from, you know it's almost like liberation um, liberating yourself from anything that held you back from what your goals are both in love and in finance um, I just feel like there's an energy of um, you're unstoppable January 2021 you, you've got your mojo back you're just waiting for the right opportunity now I'm doing this energy read uh, I don't even know what the date is today it is the 27th of uh, December so it feels like you're waiting for the right opportunity in uh, January to move forward um, to gather with this team because I feel like you're separating from a job that's the energy that I'm getting um, but I feel like 
there's expansion on the horizon. You're moving, it's almost like you're letting go of one thing in order to move into something more lucrative, more something more emotionally fulfilling, something more passionate, wise, uh, something that really brings in the abundance and recognizes your worth, recognizes uh, that, you know, that you're beautiful inside and out, but also more importantly, you know what you're doing. You're successful at what you're doing. You've got skills and uh, you've got talent, you got it all and you're just waiting for the right opportunity to pair with the right people to capitalize on that. That's the energy that I'm getting, okay? So I feel like relationships will be very fruitful, also business, very fruitful, uh, but it requires you setting healthy boundaries and um, sort of shedding anything that no longer serves you emotionally um, and, uh, you know, or robs you from your mental peace. You know, as I said, peace of mind, most important. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, let's check out uh, the energy, the spirit energy that you're embodying for January 2021. Uh, what advice does my beautiful Taurus need to know for January? Okay, we've got three cards here. We've got Shaman, Trust in Higher Forces. We've got Star Ancestor, Follow the Voice of Your Soul. And we have Protection Guardian, Drop Your Shields. Okay, so um, they're indicating here a lot of wisdom and perspective. Can you see that? Uh, the Shaman. Trust in higher forces. There is a surrender here. Spirit has a path for you. There is a calling that has been sitting on your shoulder for quite some time, Taurus. You may have ignored it because you had to be dependable in other areas or be realistic in other areas, but now you're able to um, sort of listen to the call, call of your spirit. And because it's crossing the wheel of fortune there, you will see that there are higher forces at play here that bring you opportunities when you need them. So nothing is ever accidental, okay? Things are going to work out perfectly. We've got a bit of energy joining by spirit. Uh, things will work out exactly as planned, okay? Ha! Huh. They're showing me someone eating, um, okay, it's, it's like, um, it's like chocolate, but inside it's like either a date or something. Um, they're really big, or it could even be, um, apricot. It feels like it's a dried, some sort of squidgy dried fruit that is inside some chocolate. Okay, uh, if that's you, as you're listening to this message, there's something in this message for you, okay? Um, just to let you know, there's no time limit, Taurus. So if you're thinking about time in any shape or form, um, Spirit reminds you it's divine timing, okay? With that owl energy, um, as well as, you know, it's wisdom perspective, but you're being guided by greater forces. Now we have Star Ancestor, okay? You're not alone. Uh, you have a long line of people guiding your path and protecting you along the way. It says, follow the voice of your soul. Listen to it, your intuition, okay? Um, very important energy here. Um, there's one um, person in particular guiding you, okay? Uh, now, this may be the person who's guiding you, but it may also be your name because they just said Martha, Okay, now they've said Martha before to somebody um, way back, like months and months and months ago, um, but they're saying it again, so I'm just going to give you that. I feel like this person, um, it's either you, the message is for, or there's someone in spirit who's guiding you because they're indicating there's someone looking after you in spirit that is um, bringing you to your path. Um, but listen to it. If something feels wrong where you are, change it. Listen to your gut instinct. It will never lead you astray, okay? And we have protection guardian, drop your shields. Taurus, you don't have to fight anymore, okay? They're indicating that you have come a long way and you've been very resilient, endurance. Now is the time for opening yourself up to the abundance, okay? Drop the shield. It's been a long, hard fight. You've, had, you, you, you've done really well. So embrace the new energy that is coming towards you. It's very exciting. I'm just going to give you any final cards before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide hope and happiness? Okay, so they just want you to be mindful. Uh, this is a more enlightening time. There is a light at the end of the tunnel here for you, uh, Taurus. Um, a lot more peace. There's a lot of transformation. Just release, okay? You worked hard and often without reward, but now is the time for rewards, okay? Um, they're not talking too much about love for January. I will be doing a specific love reading for you, um, but uh, just know that that's the energy they wanna give you for January 2021 for your general. I'll give you a wisdom of the oracle before we close. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. My beautiful Taurus, what do they need to know? To be fair, okay? And beautiful energy because it's number 38. When you reduce that, uh, uh, three plus uh, eight 
is 11. So that's the soul path number. It's also about justice. Okay, 11 is the justice card, Libra and energy. As you can see, the scales are tipping, balance, balancing act. So it feels very much like it's a win-win situation for you, cause and effect. The hard work that you put in, Taurus, last year, um, I mean, by that I mean 2020, um, that hard work is going to come like a boomerang right back to you with the reward, okay? Also, we've got an indication that there is opportunity coming your way. Trust your intuition because they're highlighting the, the owl right on the top of the crown chakra there. Um, your knowledge is uh, very vast, okay? You can apply it to a lot of things that will turn out in your favor, but there's an egg here on this side and there is a fortune cookie on this side and that fortune cookie says nope okay so it's about opportunity uh, for something new okay that is coming your way the egg they're indicating is sort of heavier it's worth it's worth more okay uh, it feels like it's it's worth its weight in gold that's the energy that i'm getting uh, so this new opportunity that's coming um, is very exciting for you and will lead to your abundance and also to be fair you deserve it okay the justice card which connects to this card is about justice it's about karma it's about what you deserve Taurus. and it has been a long time coming so um be prepared for a lot of abundance and um sort of financial reward um, in January. You'll start to see things looking up and turning out the way you'd hoped, okay? Um, I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels, can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know? Okay, so they just said to me the key to following, the key to um, unlocking it all is following your heart, okay? And we have a key there, and on, on top there is a, a rose. Now that rose appears on the death card. It's, a, it's, it's a, a rose of peace, of transformation, of rejuvenation. So there is a key there to unlock it all. The most important is peace of mind, okay? So uh, where would you like this? They want on the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Um, and you got the heart. It's a very ornate heart, which indicates the heart is a very beautiful but complex place, Taurus. We want different things in different moments. But always be true to your heart and it will always work out well. The finances will flow from there as long as you uh, use the seat of creativity and follow uh, the path of your pure heart. That's when things uh, turn out well and in your favor, okay? So they really want you to follow your heart there. Um, where would you like this? Oh. Uh, they want it on the star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. They want it right there. Very important. Okay. Love is the key. So if you're looking for love as well, I'm sure that will follow. But the energy of the reading so far seems to be about your career um, and uh, opportunities coming your way. Um, as of uh, January 2021, you'll start to see everything shifting more uh, towards your favor. Okay. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, I will leave it there. I hope something resonated for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I want to update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is very important for me also I will be doing a 12 month check-in for you for the whole year it'll be uh, you know just a series of 12 cards to give you the energy overall outlook um, I'll be doing that hopefully on the 31st of December uh, so please look out for that as well thank you so much my beautiful Taurus love and light